little bloodshot and squinty. Just in case you didn't get the memo, we're in Colorado, baby. And MJF is back. And he's rocking that brand spanking new MJF merch available now at shopaw.com. Get yours today. Done shilling. I'm done shilling, okay? See, folks, I'm here to put everybody on notice. While I was out nursing my wounds, I'm sitting on my beautiful couch in my palatial estate in the most magical place in the world, Long Island, New York. UBS Forbidden Door, Long Island. Daddy's coming back home. Probably gonna wrestle some random guy from Mexico or Japan. Doesn't matter. Get your tickets today. Done shilling. So I'm sitting at home, you know, and I'm watching a bunch of children make a ton of bold claims on my show. I got one guy walking around saying he's the Rainmaker. Make a lot of money there, hey Chief? That's interesting because every time I look at his physique, it seems pretty apparent to me that the guy can't even afford a gym membership. But you know, I had another bold claimer going around. As a matter of fact, he was swerving around. And he was claiming he was the leader of the Mogul Embassy. Hell of a leader, pal. Your entire group turned on you and whooped you. But that's not the part that offended me, folks. It's not. The part that offended me, Swerve, was you referring to yourself as a business mogul? Interesting. Swerverino, Shano, last time I checked, business moguls tend to go to business school. And if you did, I guess you must have skipped your public speaking course. But that was not the most egregious claim, folks. The most egregious claim was from a cockney cockhead. Walking around saying, Oi! I'm the best in the world, bruv! It's a great word. So, that's really interesting, Willie, because last time I checked, you ain't Chris Jericho, you ain't John Moxley, you ain't Cody Rhodes, you ain't Samoa Joe, you ain't Brian Danielson, you ain't Kenny Omega, you ain't Adam Cole, you ain't Hiroshi Tanahashi, but you know who managed to beat every single one of the individuals on that list? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, that's right. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. So the next time you want to come on my show and lie through those disgusting, British, crooked, yellow stained teeth of yours, watch your tone and check your mouth. Cause silly Billy, you ain't the best in the world, bruv. I am! In five short years of national television exposure, I became the man, the face of AEW. I created some of the greatest matches, moments, memories, and interviews in the history of this sport. I became the most hated man walking this planet, only to become the most beloved. And that don't happen by accident, babe. So imagine how I felt when I go home to heal from my wounds after carrying this place, and people had the audacity to try to smear my name? Revisionists trying to revise my history, revise my legacy, revise my name.
Well, we heard last week, Tony, there was one person not too pleased to see MJF making his return to AEW. Yeah, this right here could be a problem for MJF. Wouldn't yeah. want to see that man walk out during my promo. I can tell you Cut that. The music. El Toro Blanco Roosh. MJF! Most like all this stupid, filthy, ugly Americans, you never ever shut up! Listen to me, but listen well, perro. When you've been gone, I've been here working hard, wrestling, winning, y rompiendo madres, cabrón. So now you come back and you get a big celebration. Where's my celebration? Where's my big moment? Where's my big moment? I didn't sell you a spot. So now I'm gonna take it. Because when you mess with the bull, you get the horse. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, Roosh, I didn't get any of that, okay? But it's not your fault, it's not your fault, listen. When Tony Khan, no offense, when that mark was running this place, it was pretty rough, but now that the elite have taken over, it's gotten worse. I think Brandon Cutler's running the production truck. I don't know what's going on anymore, okay? I couldn't hear Roosh. Could you guys hear Roosh? No. I said, could you guys hear Roosh? No. Roosh, can you run that by us all one more I time? I say, we don't give a shit. No. You come out here, in your dime store suit, making your bank account look real dry. You know, dry, Roosh. Like every woman you've ever slept with. Oh, you know what, hold on. I took it too far, I took it way too far. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? I'm not gonna stand here and pretend I don't know you, brother. At one point in time, I paid you an exorbitant amount of money to take out Brian Danielson. I know how talented you are. You come from wrestling royalty. Your father is a Lucha Libre legend. Now, granted, some might call you a Nepo baby for that. Not me, not me, not me. Listen, don't do that. Don't do that. But you prove that's not the case when you sold out, I'm getting serious now, when you sold out arena after arena in Mexico. You proved you were an international superstar. You came to the US and in record time, you became a Ring of Honor World Champion. You stepped foot here in AEW and you managed to bludgeon some of the best this sport has to offer. But here's the problem, Roosh. I ain't one of the best. I'm the best. But out of respect, love and admiration for you, Roosh, I want to tell you how you interrupting made me feel, but I want to make sure that nothing gets lost in translation. So here goes it. <clears throat> hey, cabrón! Chica tu madre! <laughs> me amo! Maxwell! Jacob! Freeman! And I'm better than you! And you know... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Roosh oh, is hurt. Enough and now, Roosh and MJF squaring off center the ring. We need some security to separate these two men. Yeah, he's got to go blow for blow, Shivani. I knew it wouldn't take long, Taz, and here comes Christopher Daniels and security. Security flooding the ring. Christopher Daniels, the interim executive vice president. You hear this crowd in Loveland, Colorado, just outside of Denver, saying, let them go. Oh, and there goes Roosh. I'm surprised Roosh didn't jump in before then. I mean, he has a he has a temper that sometimes is out of control like it is right now. And MJF returned the favor right there. Yeah, MJF's temper, that's nothing to scoff at either. It's now shots raining down from both MJF and Roosh. Oh, look how many men it is taking to separate Roosh. A lot of bad blood. Jacob Friedman. A lot of bad blood, a lot of trash talking. We got AEW security, we've got elite security out as well. Referees, Christopher Daniels. You, I will break you down. Max, you're gonna calm down. Not here, not now. Not now. Well, it 
certainly seems like MJF and Roosh are on a collision course.